Hello everyone, it's Josh the Parts Guy from ROA, back with another video for you. I'm currently sitting inside a Conqueror UEV14. If you're interested in seeing one of the walkthroughs around these guys, go ahead and check out that video over here. What we're gonna be doing with you today is we're gonna be showing you a brand new product. This Zolio satellite communicator is what we're gonna be talking about today. So I'm, we're gonna be continuing to bring out new videos for you guys, more products that are new to the market, whether they're, whether they're new, whether they're maybe just be, have been used a lot in the products for RVs or campers or hiking, off-roading, off-gridding, whatever you're doing. We wanna show you amazing products and kind of go into them, review them a little bit. And I'm really interested into what products you might want reviewed or want us to go over. So definitely comment, leave a comment if you have any ideas of products you would like us to specifically talk about. And we would love to, to, to go through those products, show videos of us using them and what, what we think about them for sure. But like I was saying, we're gonna be talking about this device here. And what this is, is a Zolio satellite communicator. So this is going to be for you people that are going off-roading, whether you're hiking, uh, someone that is going to be out of cell phone service typically and needs to be able to send messages to friends, family, whoever it may be. We'll kind of get into it, what you can do with this device and why you might want to get it, depending on the kind of activities you're doing outdoors. <clears throat> so to hop right into it, Zolio has an app that you download on your Android or Apple phone, uh, your iPhone. It has a wonderful user interface. You could download it right now and start already kind of, it's free, you can download it. You can start playing with it and see kind of how the interface works uh, just to get an idea before you can buy the, the device. Like I said, it's totally free, so go ahead and play with it uh, before you start uh, thinking about buying it. Um, and you see, it's very easy to use, very simple. This Zolio device pairs to your Apple's phone, your iPhone or your Android phone, the app, and that's, you'll be sending the messages that you receive or get or, or send out through that app on your phone. Something that's nice about the Zolio with the app is that it is a GPS satellite communicator. If it senses that your phone actually has a small data or Wi-Fi point of access, it will first try and send that message through that data or that point of access through through the Wi-Fi. And then secondarily, it'll do that through, it'll send the message through the satellite. If that data connection is either too weak or if it senses that you have no data at all, it will just send straight through to the satellite. It's neat that it does that. It could maybe save you some money per message based on it trying to go with data or uh, the Wi-Fi access you might have. But a lot of the times if you're out of cell phone coverage for multiple days, you might consider just putting your phone on airplane mode because that could save uh, you some, some battery with your phone not having to constantly be searching for cell covers the whole time. So it, it, it could be good, could be bad, depends. If, you, if you're gonna be hiking just for uh, one hike, you're gonna go out, it may be in and out of coverage, you're not sure where your coverage is gonna be. Maybe you'll be leaving your phone off of uh, airplane mode and you'll, you, your, your Zolio will be able to, to determine whether to send it through through your phone coverage or through the satellite that it's gonna be using. <clears throat> it typically takes about two to five minutes for the message to send via satellite. It could take upwards of 20 minutes. That just depends on your location and how they're able to send it to the satellite and then back to the receiver. But standard is probably two to five minutes. Yeah, that's what I would expect for sure. Some unique features that are with the Zolio that we're gonna jump into right here. You can do, you can set up on your Zolio account on their webpage, check-ins. So there's this button here, just this little check mark button at the top there, where if you press that, or if you go to your Zolio app, Zolio app on your phone, you also have a check-in button in the app that will automatically send in a check-in update to a list of people that you've preset and with a message that you've preset. So you could go to your account page. I would put, you know, my wife, maybe my, my parents, a couple close friends. You could have a set list of people that you can send an automatic check-in update like, hey, I made it to my campsite. 
or hey, we made it to our checkpoint on the hike, uh, which is very convenient. You don't have to spend a lot of time figuring out who you need to be updating. You could go and preset it before your trip and then just click your button here at the top or go on the app and click the button and it'll automatically send in a check and update uh, to those lists of predetermined people. Another thing with that that you could add, which is called location sharing, you could in that same check-in message add uh, a, a basically a, a pin of where your location is uh, from the satellite so that it can also include in that check-in message your location. Um, but there's an additional portion of the location sharing that's another feature that you is a little additional when you go to pay for your, your monthly plan. There's an extra feature that's about six extra dollars a month which is called location sharing and what that does it's pretty similar to the check-ins but it you go in you set another predetermined list of up to five people that you would like your location to be shared at certain time intervals during your trip so it's kind of like you're leaving breadcrumbs for your predetermined set of people to constantly track you and make sure that you're making progress on your trip you're not veering wherever you might not want to veer if, if there was a location that was strange compared to what your trip was set up to be doing that they could try and contact you or try and they, they would just be aware of the trail that you're kind of taking at certain time intervals that you can change and set based on how you would want your location to be shared with those people another feature that it has it, it can bring in weather reports currently you'd have to download an app called dark sky that is a, a weather app that links with zolio so you would you would go into the the application for zolio request a weather report and it would through the satellite send it to the dark sky uh, application on your phone and you would get uh, a weather report of your area that you wouldn't have been able to have to have been able to get without that satellite uh, connection basically dark sky is kind of known in the hiking off-road off-grid community as not the necessarily the best weather report it, it sometimes has a lot of misac not as accurate as some other uh, weather reports but it certainly works and it'll give you a general idea of what's going to be happening Although Dark Sky is going to be integrating with Apple weather application, probably here in 2023 is, is the word. So I'm not really sure what that means for Zolio, whether they're going to be pairing up that means with, with Apple or whether they're going to have different weather controls for Android and Apple. We're going to have to wait and see what Zolio is going to be doing to keep up with those weather reports now that Dark Sky is going to be integrating with Apple's weather application. One of the big features on the app is the SOS button. You just pull this tab here and you can press and hold the SOS button or you can go into the app and press the SOS button in the application as well. And what this does is this contacts immediately. Oh, I believe it's the IRECC or IERCC, the International Emergency Response, Response Coordination Center, I believe is what it is called. And you can begin a two-way communication with the IERCC, um, and they can determine with you how serious of an SOS uh, moment you're in. There's ones where, you know, you need immediate search and rescue, um, and they're gonna send a team out to perform that search and rescue. Uh, there's ones where maybe you sprained your ankle or you broke your leg at your campsite uh, and it's not necessarily that you need a search and rescue team but you're going to have a lot of trouble getting out of camp on your own and you need then if you would like to have someone from a team come and assist you to be able to do things that you need to do to to get out of the camp safely the, the kind of two facets of the sos is that they'll be determining how serious the sos is whether they need immediate response or whether they need to respond to a not so uh, immediate situation but that uh, could be a problem like spraining your ankle or breaking your leg. I, I have a brother-in-law who I believe he was running in Colorado. Uh, I don't know he's gonna yeah, he's gonna watch this and think uh, and tell me no I was not running in Colorado I was going somewhere else but I believe he was in Col Colorado. He runs cross country for his college uh, and track and he was out of service completely from his phone and he had tripped and fell and basically sprained his ankle and he had no communication with anyone and he basically had to limp two to three miles back to the nearest station that he was he was nearby um, 
just to be able to get help and get driven wherever else from the rest of the way he needed to go and get assistance. Ideally, having this device would have made it so he didn't have to limp two or three miles. Uh, those are the smaller SOS situations that we'd be talking about. The extreme ones, obviously, uh, you know when you're in an extreme situation when you're in an extreme situation and you need to have immediate rescue. And on that point, that it's really important to make sure that you have these devices set up ready prior to your trip. You're, you're not gonna be wanting to figure out how to pair this device with your application once you're in an SOS situation. Uh, you wanna have it ready to go, uh, ready to be able to be used. You, I mean, you see those commercials with the, the our, our elderly people who wear that necklace around their necks and they just click the button as soon as they fall down. That's what this SOS button could be in that moment, but if it's not paired to the app or you're not set up properly prior to the trip, then it's, it's not gonna be there for you and you're gonna be scrambling in the moment. So, so don't do that for sure. Another feature is you could download offline maps uh, as well. Now, that is, that is a cool feature, although if you're someone who's gonna be already using your phone uh, while you're off grid and while you're you know, hiking, then you, you probably, you can download Google Maps, you can download, you can download, there's a whole bunch of other actual hiking and off-grid world maps that you could be downloading and just have on your phone anyway. So I'm not sure whether you'll be using that function as much, but it's, it's cool that they have it. Okay, so here we got the plans. As you can see, we have three plans that you choose from uh, for monthly. This is after the purchase of the device. So once you get your device, you'll, you'll get instructions to come to Zolio and, and activate it up here. Uh, the, you'll run through that process and then you'll have to choose one of these three plans. Something to notice is that the, the messages that you're gonna be charged for only are counting if they're sent through the satellite. So like we were talking about earlier, where Zolio will determine whether you have a data or Wi-Fi access connection. Uh, and if it sends it through that data or Wi-Fi access, it won't consider it as part of the satellite messages that you're being uh, charged for. So your basic, you get 25 satellite messages. You're in touch, you get 250, and your unlimited gets unlimited. And then any messages uh, additional to your, your plans that you're paying for, uh, you're running 50 cents per message uh, that you go over the 25 and 50 cents out over the 250. And something else to understand is that every message you send and receive is being counted as an individual message. So all your check-in messages, all of your location share messages like we were talking about, those are all each their own message. So you, if you have for your check-in list of people, if you have four people selected to be a part of that automated check-in, that when you click the button and it sends that check-in message, and potentially if you have that uh, location drop as well, a part of that message, each one of those messages to those people is its own message. So four people, four messages. And then if each one of those people sends a message back to you through the satellite, that is an additional four messages. So you just have to look at these plans and kind of see and think like, what, what, how many trips am I going on this month? Or what do I do regularly? And how many people am I gonna have on my check-in or location share? If you're gonna add that location share, like which I said is about $6 more a month. And then you can kind of determine what the best plan is for you. Um, something else to notice if we scroll down to their service terms is that you can suspend your plan uh, for months if you're like a seasonal hiker or you're, you're not getting out. If you know you're not going to get out that month for a trip where you need your Zolio, you can suspend the plan. It, it still costs $4 a month to keep it active so that you can remain having your, your, your Zolio personal phone number and email address that they give you. Um, so for just $4 a month, instead of doing $20 a month or 35 or 50, where you go a month with no trips and you never even use the Zolio, just suspend it, pay the $4, save that 16 or 31 or $46, uh, until you need it again. Definitely before you go to buy or when you're activating, you want to determine how many trips you're going to be going on in a given month, uh, and how many, for the most part, check-in people or location share people you're going to have that those are the ones that are going to eat your messages faster especially location share if you have it set up where you're location sharing every two hours on your trip to four people 
Well, if you do an eight hour trip, you know, that's already 16 messages that you automated away. Um, so you just have to think about those things. The last thing I'll say about the Zolio is that it needs to be face up for best performance. The communication satellite signal is coming straight from the top to the satellite. So if you're gonna be putting it in a backpack, I know when I have a backpack, I have a, an actual a cubby of the backpack that's on my neck area, and I just put that right there. But I put it in the backpack so it's facing straight up. That way I can receive those messages or send those messages more clearly. Sometimes I'll get it out and make sure I have it uh, out when I'm sending it. Uh, but when you're receiving, you want to be able to receive them and you don't know that something might be coming in. So leave that sucker facing up. So now that you know a little bit about the Zolio, I love this device. I've used it to text my wife a couple of times. Uh, we do a couple trips where uh, I go without her and we get off-roading and she, it, it, she likes to know that, hey, we made it to our point of destination properly, uh, everything's fine, and that, hey, we're on our way out, hey, we made it out. Um, I use it for those simple things. So if you're interested in, in thinking about getting one of these things, definitely download the app and start playing with it. Search up YouTube videos. There's, there's plenty of content on this device. Uh, but definitely you can reach out to us, reach out to me at josh at rvsofamerica.com. We can, we can get you one of these devices. If you're a roamer who's about to buy a trailer from us, uh, you can ask about it. We can have it ready for you when you come to pick up your trailer so that it's, it's a simple and, and seamless process. Let me know what you think down below about the Zolio or other products like it or other products you want us to, to review to keep these kind of videos going. Other than that, I'll see you next time.